Today we're going to talk about how to include documents inside our PHP code because in the last episode we talked about functions and I did actually mention that a really good idea with functions is to put functions related to a certain thing inside a separate document. For example, if you have a document with user related functions or a document with calculation related functions, then it's a really good idea to separate them. Now, we didn't actually talk about including documents yet, which is something that is actually pretty important for you to know, because another thing you can do with including documents is also putting your navigation in a separate document. So to give you guys an example, let's actually say we have a website. And as you guys can see, I do actually have some stuff inside my body tag, like a header, which has a very basic navigation in it. I didn't style this at all. Um, we also have a section down here that has a div in it with a paragraph or like a, not a paragraph, a H1 tag in here that says hi there. So if I do actually go and show you guys the website, you guys can see we have the header up here with the navigation and we have the content down here with the text. Now let's say I have 10 pages on my website and I need to change the navigation at one point. Let's say I screw something up inside my navigation. And I need to change it. Now, instead of having to go to every single document and changing every single page that has a navigation in it, we can actually take our first part of our website, which is the top here with the navigation and put it into a separate document. Now doing it this way is going to allow for you to go in and change your navigation in one document and not on every single document you have inside your root folder. So this is quite a nice thing to have because it can be quite annoying to having to change every single time, you know, every single document every single time. So we're just going to go ahead and talk about how to include the documents and how to create this. So inside my front page here, I do actually have some PHP tags at the very top. Um, but what we're going to go ahead and focus on is what part of the website do we want to separate from the main content? Now in this example, I'm going to choose to take the header and copy all the way to the top here, copy it and delete it. Then I'm going to open up a new document, paste everything in here. And now what we need to do is connect this document to the top part of our pages, which in this case is our front page. So the way we do that is by going in and actually saving our document in here. I didn't actually save it yet. So I'm going to save it inside my root folder as header.php. Now you can call it whatever you want. It's a habit to call it header.php. So that's just what I'm going to call it here. Now inside our front page, we need to link to the actual document at the very top here. And we do that using the include tags. So I'm going to go inside my PHP code. I'm going to write include space quotes. It can be double quotes or single quotes. Doesn't really matter. And semicolon. Now inside here, we need to write the path to our document. So in this case, I didn't put it inside any folders or anything. So it's just going to be header dot PHP. So now, even though I did actually, you know, completely cut out the header from our document here or like everything from the header and all the way up to the top. I can actually go inside my browser, refresh, and you guys will see we get the exact same thing. But the only difference here is that I could actually have another document here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this, paste it in here and call this one maybe contacts.php. So now I have another page inside my root folder called contact and I don't have to, in, you know, include a navigation inside this page, I can just go into my header, the PHP, because I do actually have the header included into every single page that I have, which is quite nice when you make websites. So doing it this way as well, also allows for you to, like I said, in the last episode, include separate PHP document that just has functions in it, if that's what you want. So if you go into our header here, which is the, you know, the one that has all the, the content that will be on every single page inside our website, we can actually go to the very top of our documents on top of our doc type HTML up here, and we can include some PHP tags. Now inside these PHP tags are only going to be documents that we just need to make sure loads first before we load the entire website. And in this case, we can actually just go ahead and include our uh, new page that we're going to create right now that might have a function in it called something. So let's just go ahead and create a function like so, put inside some actual PHP tags, like so. And we can save it as maybe, let's say, let's let's create a folder in here that's called functions. So we do actually have a separate folder just for functions. And we can go ahead and call it user-functions.php as an example. 
So if I go into my header, go to the very top here, I can say, okay, I need to include a document in here. So I'm going to include space quotes, semicolon. And then I'm going to dig into my folder because I did actually create a folder called functions backslash user dash functions dot php. So now I actually included my functions inside a separate document and I have it linked to the very top of my page, meaning that all the functions I create inside my user functions is always going to load first, meaning that I don't have to worry about the function not being loaded before I actually start using it inside my pages. So this is quite nice to be able to do. And it's something that's really important to be able to do because like I said, we want to be able to do this sort of thing to have some system in order in our websites. Now, another thing I want to talk about is also we have something that's called include once, which is something that you don't necessarily need to do inside a website. Um, but including once means that you're simply including a document one time. And one possible way you might want to, you know, use this is inside a loop, for example, let's say you need to loop something out, and you only need to include a function once in the first loop, then you can, you know, make an include once and just, you know, loop it out once, and then it's going to stop including this document inside your loop. So we won't really be using include once at all, I think, but I just want to put it out there that, you know, it's actually out there. So it's actually possible to use it. So that's all I wanted to talk about in this episode regarding including documents. It is quite a nice thing to know because you will be using it quite often. I, I can promise you if you make websites, even if you're not planning on using PHP code in a website, you will probably still be using, you know, at least the include header that we have inside these documents because it's quite a pain having to change the navigation in multiple places when you can just, you know, change it in one place. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys next time.